Minnesota fighting Viking safety J. Ron Curse was arrested on suspicion of DWI as well as possession of a loaded handgun without a permit last October during the Vikings bye week. Good times. It had been a while since the Vikings have gotten into some hashtag drama, but also it, remember that was the one where Mike Hughes was the passenger in the car and who's thrown up all, all that good stuff. So this week, uh, charges stemming from that incident, uh, J. Ron pled guilty to the fourth degree DWI as well as possess, possessing a pistol uh, in public without a permit. A lot of alliteration there. Uh, and he received one year probation as well as community service. Wow. Wow. That's really good. I think he got really lucky. This is essentially a slap on the wrist, especially given the charges that, that were against him. And I, I did think that Mike Freeman, who is the Hennepin County attorney, may have tried to flex on him, uh, may have tried to go hard on the paint, you know, make him an example as, you know, especially celebrity, as well as you have gun charges. You know, politicians generally like to grandstand in situations like that, but apparently they didn't uh, because celebrity, it does cut both ways. And I think J. Ron being uh, a Viking as well as I'm sure with the help of a great lawyer uh, really got <laughs> these charges reduced to basically a jaywalking ticket and also if he stays out of trouble uh, the year that he's on probation the gun charge goes away so this is uh, this is nil uh, this is basically nothing uh, although uh, a caveat that uh, potentially flew under the radar is that uh, he was ordered uh, by the judge to complete the NFL substance abuse program uh, the judge, Honorable Bev Benson. Now, I don't know how that actually works. Uh, like, I don't know if this means that he has now he now has a strike against him by the NFL, and if the NFL is going to do uh, you know testing on him, or like he gets piss tested like every other day, like with Holton Hill. I don't really see how that adds up one to one with uh, substance abuse uh, in the NFL. Generally, is drugs yeah, and not booze but I, I don't know what the circumstances are i don't know if the court actually has the jurisdiction to enforce this uh with the nfl i don't really know uh but that was sort of tossed in as a throwaway line but that's really interesting uh to me because that really uh, affects what he could be doing uh, on the field because now if jay runkers doesn't keep, keep his nose clean pardon the pun he's gonna get popped and he's already got a strike against them potentially. So I am uh, I tried to look. I didn't get any clarity on that. But also, uh, speaking of discipline with the NFL, he's not out of the, out of the woods yet. Because uh, I, I think that he is certainly going to be suspended still as the NFL, you know, even if you have charges thrown out or even if you get a reduced charge like j Ron in this case, uh, I think he still will be facing a suspension from the league. Now, when will we find out uh, as well as for how long? Who knows? The NFL is very arbitrary when it comes to stuff like this. My guess is it's probably going to be three games appealed down to two. Don't ask me why. I just feel like it's going to be two games. Uh, and I think that will impact his free agency as well because, you know, the safety free agent class, I mean, there's some pretty decent names out there. And I think there's going to be some money flying around. But also, J. Ron, who's been great uh, in his niche role here with the Vikings as, uh, you know, the big nickel as well as that third safety, uh, as well as a little bit of slot cornerback. I don't know uh, if the market has actually accurately priced out that position as well as if he's going to miss the first two games of the year. I, I think that's significantly going to impact his money uh, in the open for agent market and, and also and it actually wouldn't shock me if j-ron actually just sort of lingers in limbo for a while as teams uh could say that teams know that he has a, a suspension hanging over him uh, but also the nfl doesn't announce it say until june which actually would be unfair uh, to J-Ron. That could really just leave him in limbo, and the team doesn't sign it because they don't know uh, what the suspension is going to be, and also they, they don't know how to accurately price what his hybrid position is going to be. Uh, but I I really like J-Ron Curse. I would love to have him back on the team, especially since uh, Zimmer noted that Anthony Harris could easily be gone because Anthony Harris uh, has definitely earned himself a, a monster contract. But So that does give greater value for Curse, who I, I think his market's going to be a lot smaller. Uh, I think his value uh, is the most here as opposed to other teams, uh, the way that he's grown up and flourished in the system. But also, I mean, Curse has made it pretty clear over the past couple months on social media that he doesn't feel respected. He doesn't feel essentially wanted here in Minnesota. So I don't know if those, uh, if those bridges can be unburned or, or can be rebridged again uh, and they get the band back together. But at the end of the day, I, I think if J Ron has limited free agent options, I think the, if the Vikings uh, can make him a pretty decent deal, even though he is going to be suspended for a couple games, they can just ride that out. I, I think that, them you know, kissing and making up for a year, potentially a, a, a one-year prove-it deal 
uh, just trying to rehab his image and uh, becoming a full-time starter. Perhaps he can hit big free agency next offseason. That could be the best uh, course for both J-Run and the Vikings. And it's, you know, it's a course that I, I wouldn't mind. All right. So your thoughts, J-Ron, uh, sentence in his DWI gun charges, as well as a potential impact on free agency. Let us know in the comment section below. Also, subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. you want to support the work, pull us up in the Venmo. Please give us a follow on social media as well. But until next time, Skull, production value.